In a testament to their ingenuity, the weavers turn their greatest asset, their silk, into beneath our feet, an unseen drama unfolds, a world of intricate societies and brutal warfare. Here, the formidable red fire ants, a species known for its territorial aggression and relentless expansion. Nearby, the industrious black garden ants, smaller but vast in number, meticulously build and maintain their hidden domain. The fragile truce between these empires is often defined by the most subtle of boundaries, a fallen twig, a crack in the earth. The first encounter is often a dance of reconnaissance, each scout assessing the strength and resolve of the other. But mere assessment quickly gives way to skirmish, as pheromone trails summon reinforcements from both sides. The fire ants, true to their nature, respond with overwhelming force, a crimson tide flowing towards the dispute. Yet, the black garden ants, despite their smaller stature, stand firm, forming a disciplined line of defense. The great mound conflict ignites, a brutal ballet of mandibles and venom, as two empires collide. Each fire ant, a warrior in its own right, presses the attack with unyielding ferocity, their reddish forms a blur of aggression. Yet, the sheer numbers of the black garden ants provide a relentless counter, a tide of black overwhelming any solitary aggressor. A tactical withdrawal begins, the smaller army luring their aggressive foes closer to the heart of their defenses. The fire ants, spurred on by the illusion of victory, give chase, their relentless pursuit an unstoppable force. The red fire ants complete their encirclement laying siege to the very heart of their enemy's domain. From within the beleaguered fortress, a desperate counterattack erupts, a final gambit for survival. But the weight of numbers proves too great. The fire ants breach the perimeter, a dark tide flowing into the inner sanctum. See, the dust settles, revealing the grim cost of conflict. A once vibrant home now scarred, and so, the red fire ants claim their victory, their dominion expanding across new, hard-won territory. From the depths of the forest floor emerges a different kind of terror, the army ant, a nomadic predator. These are not settlers, but conquerors. Their ceaseless march devours all in its path, leaving desolation in their wake. Unaware of the approaching threat, the diligent harvester ants focus on their vital task, collecting and storing precious seeds. Deep within their fortress lies the true wealth of the harvesters, a granary brimming with... But the silent advance of the army ants sends out its feelers. A lone scout, a harbinger of destruction, draws near. Suddenly, a ripple of unease passes through the harvester sentinels, an unfamiliar tremor, a scent of impending doom. The alarm sounds, and the harvesters, protectors of their vital stores, mobilize with a fierce resolve. Then, the horizon darkens. The main column of army ants arrives, a living, predatory time. The battle begins, a violent collision of two worlds, the defenders bravely facing an overwhelming, relentless foe. It is a brutal ballet, clash of mandibles and armor, each ant fighting with an instinct for survival forged in fire. The harvesters, though outnumbered, display an unyielding resilience, their sturdy forms a bulwark against the invading tide. Yet, the endless surge of the army army ants cannot be contained. A breach is made, and the rel Deep within, the last harvesters of warriors form a desperate cordon, a final, valiant stand. The defenses crumble, the army ants breach the inner sanctum, their predatory forms now swarming among the precious seeds. With ruthless efficiency, the army ants begin their plunder, carrying away the lifeblood of the harvester colony. A desperate countersurge ignites. The harvesters, in a final act of defiance, attempt to reclaim their future. Their mission complete, the army ants retreat, leaving behind devastation but carrying the spoils of a brutal victory. The harvester colony, once prosperous, lies ravaged. Their vital stores plundered, 
their future uncertain. Yet, even in the face of ruin, the spirit of the harvesters endures. The arduous task of rebuilding begins. The army ants vanish into the wilderness, their victory a chilling reminder of the raw, brutal efficiency of nature. High above the forest floor, a different kind of empire flourishes, one built not on earth, but on leaf and silk. This is the domain of the weaver ants, architects of the canopy, whose magnificent nests are wonders of natural engineering. Teachings. But in this dense arboreal world, space is a finite resource. A rival colony, the border, a single, unassuming branch, becomes the invisible line of contention, a silent declaration of potential war. Like wary adversaries, two scouts meet on the neutral ground, each representing the will of their growing empires. A silent arms race begins, both colonies aggressively expanding their reach, weaving new bridges across the canopy. The once peaceful patrols transform into hostile encounters, small skirmishes igniting across the contested branches. The fight for the canopy takes a new dimension as warriors grapple and fall, tumbling through the arboreal battlefield. The main forces converge on the ancient, shared branch, transforming it into the central arena of the canopy war. It is a mesmerizing display of martial prowess, a complex choreography of mandibles and powerful limbs in miniature. The battle escalates as invaders attempt to tear down the very fabric of their enemy's home, unraveling their protective walls. Within the besieged stronghold, worker ants fight with primal ferocity to shield their vulnerable young, the future of their lineage. In a testament to their ingenuity, the weavers turn their greatest asset, their silk, into the canopy war rages on, a relentless, sustained assault where victory is earned not in a single strike, but through sheer endurance. The very battleground itself rebels against the strain, a section of the canopy giving way beneath the brutal struggle. With their territory compromised, one colony begins a tactical, sorrowful retreat, abandoning a portion of their ancestral canopy. Mystics. The cost of war is etched upon the very walls of their home. Torn silk, broken leaves. On the reclaimed branches, the victorious weavers assert their dominion, their patrols now extending into newly conquered territory. From the remnants of their shattered home, the defeated colony begins the arduous task of mending, a testament to their enduring spirit. Us. A fragile peace descends upon the canopy, a temporary cessation in the eternal struggle for do- Nature can be an unforgiving mistress. Under the scorching sun, even the formidable red fire ants begin to falter, their aggressive spirit tested by scarcity. But in their foresight, the harvester ants possess a lifeline, their deep granaries providing vital, though dwindling, sustenance. In their desperation, fire ant scouts range further, their instincts leading them towards a scent of survival, the harvester's seed trail. But the harvester guards, though weakened by the drought, maintain their vigilant watch, sensing an ominous presence. Driven by desperation, the fire ants mobilize for a decisive strike. Survival hangs in the balance. The harvesters, protectors of their dwindling stores, form a resolute line, their bodies a final barrier against starvation. The drought war ignites, a clash born of desperation, as two species fight not for conquest, but for sheer survival. Me. A test of raw power and unyielding will, as mandibles lock in a deadly embrace. The sheer aggression of the fire ants, fueled by hunger, proves overwhelming. The harvester line shatters. Though their defenses crumble, individual harvester warriors fight on, embodying the resilient spirit of their kind. The granary is breached, the fire ants, hungry and ruthless, now swarm within the harvester's sacred stores. With ruthless efficiency, the fire ants plunder their prize, each stolen seed a lifeline for their own starving colony. In a final, heartbreaking surge, the harvesters attempt to reclaim what is theirs, fighting for their very future. The fire ants retreat, leaving behind only devastation, but carrying the very seeds of their own survival.
The Harvester Colony, its granary stripped bare, faces the grim spectre of starvation. Even the Queen, the heart of the colony, emerges to witness the devastating cost, a silent tableau of despair. For the fire ants, the stolen seeds mean a reprieve, a temporary feast after the harrowing famine, a brief respite. But in nature's unforgiving cycle, even victory is but a temporary solace, a prelude to the next trial. The drought war concludes, a brutal testament to the lengths living beings will go for survival. From the shadows emerges a true titan, a colossal super colony, an entire empire of... Their hunger for territory knows no bounds. This vast superorganism... Smaller colonies, once rivals, now face a common, existential threat. Their very survival hangs precariously. Clones. In the face of annihilation, ancient rivalries are set aside. Unthinkable alliances begin to... Against a common, monstrous foe, an unlikely alliance solidifies. A fragile coalition... From every corner, the allied forces prepare, fortifying their shared borders, transforming their homes into a network of defenses. Then, the Earth itself trembles. The dominant ants advance, an unstoppable... The last stand begins. A brutal collision of small, defiant wills against an overwhelming, crushing force. A calculated retreat begins, the smaller army yielding ground, only to draw their foes into carefully prepared traps. At the choke points, the allied ants, with their speed and sheer numbers, execute a brilliant, coordinate. Every crevice, every fallen twig, becomes a strategic advantage, funneling the overwhelming foe into deadly bottlenecks. In the face of annihilation, countless small acts of incredible bravery unfold. Indivis but the tide of the dominant ants is too vast, too relentless. The lines break. In a final, desperate act of defiance, a small pocket of allied warriors makes a glorious, tragic last stand. The silence descends, broken only by the wind. The battlefield, a graveyard, the dominant ant supercolony expands its empire, its victory absolute, reshaping the very landscape of the ant world. Amongst the wreckage, a solitary survivor, a testament to enduring spirit, bears witness to the ultimate cost of conflict. Yet, even in the shadow of destruction, life's indomitable will persists. New spirits. From the microcosm of brutal ant wars, we zoom out to the macrocosm of an indifferent world, where in the smallest arenas, the greatest sagas of survival and conquest play out.